All right, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about magnetic gearing. Pretty cool concept that's been around and it's really starting to get utilized now in high power wind applications as well as aerospace and electric vehicle air propulsion. So I found a couple papers talking about magnetic gearing. It's, it's definitely cool reads. Um, here's kind of the topology of the windmill generator. It's coaxial type system where this is just like a linear gear train. And here's another paper from NASA talking about using magnetic gearing instead of mechanical. There's a lot of advantages to this. Obviously there's no friction, no fluid. Um, if it gets out of sync, it's not going to tear any teeth. You just have to restart the system again. Um, so anyway, let me set this down here. What we have here is a reduction magnetic gear train. So we started with a 2-inch wheel with 12 magnets and then scaled down to a 1.35-inch wheel with 8 magnets and then a 1-inch wheel with 6 magnets. They all have the exact same spacing in between the magnets, so they match up perfectly. And it's, I mean, it's a really cool thing to just play with and feel the interlocking of the magnets. So they're alternated north and south. So to show you the north and the south, so this one north, next one south, north, south. So yeah, you have to use an even number of magnets and yeah, these can get up to really high speed. We're going to use the Dremel tool here. This goes with from 5,000 up to 30,000 RPM. Um, so yeah, let's rotate these magnets for a minute. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna hold this down while we do this. So at the second level here, you can see on the Dremel tool. So we're probably up to about 10 or 15,000 RPM. So I got that up to about halfway in between two and three. Yeah, maximum's 30,000, so it was probably about 15,000 RPM there. So, take this off. So anyway, yeah, I think the next iteration is gonna be a concentric radial style. And yeah, test that concept out. 